welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I buy storage lockers at auction. I just bought a 10 by 30, and I think it's going to be a pretty good locker. At this point, I'm not sure with our scheduling if I'm going to be able to go with the other guys to pick up the locker or not. If I'm not able to go with them, I will show you some pictures, the same pictures that I saw online when I bid on this unit. I am not going to be able to go up there with them to pick up the locker, so we'll just look at some pictures quick. Looks like a lot of boxes. Uh, that nice wash and dryer, there is a grill in there. Uh, there's another closer look at the washer and dryer. It's a 10 by 30 unit and I paid $370 for it. So they are back now with the truck and so we are going to head outside, open that thing up and see what it looks like. Here. Got some mattresses. Here we go. Nice. Nice uh, washer and dryer. Wow. And if those work, that'll be quite a bit of money. That'll probably more than pay for the locker. We do have some Power Wheels cars here. With two of them here. That's pretty good. If those work, they are really easy to sell. It's a perfect time of year to be selling them. Got a charcoal grill. Bookshelf over there. Looks like a lot of boxes. All right, well, we will get these bigger items out and then uh, start going through some boxes. Here's our first little box. Let's open this up and see what we've got. Looks like kids' shoes. Nike, that kind of, it's Converse. So, not in very good shape, obviously. It's kids' shoes, but well, it's Vans. That might have been Vans as well. Is that Vans? Yeah, that's Vans. I don't know why I said Converse. Um, those are Converse. These kids' shoes, they will sell pretty well. And if there's any, you know, any Nikes that are in good shape, they sell really well online. Um, these aren't in very good shape. So we'll just sell them out of our store. Looks like that's all that's in there. Here we've got a big plastic tote. Looks like mostly full of clothes. There's a bunch of toy animals here. This is like that German brand. These things are really expensive. They sell them at like um, touristy type places. Yeah, another one of the same brand. It's like SCH. L-E-I-C-H. I think it's German. I don't really know. But uh, these might these might have some value online. There's a lot here. Alright, what else? Anything else interesting in here? All clothing. Nice hat. Chevrolet. Alright, looks like it's all clothing in there. I'll sort through there, of course and uh, keep going. This little box is marked kids books. It's not heavy though like you would expect books to be. What's actually inside? Uh, it's definitely kids stuff. Some toys, Chuck E. Cheese tickets, a whole bunch of them. Barbie or other type of doll. One book. Oh, some more books down there. Some colored pencils. Nothing too exciting. Got a big box here. It says Nini Room. Pretty light, so we'll see. Looks like we got pillows. No, oh, it's a giant bear. A blanket here, and then a giant bear. A couple giant bears. What's the name on them? Animal Alley. And then down in the bottom, looks like we've got a blanket. All right, well, keep going. This is kind of an interesting box. It's full of new in the package toys. It's a great thing to have in our store around Christmas time. The packaging seems to be slightly damaged, but uh, 
these toys look like they're brand new. Now that's probably 40, 50 bucks worth of toys here for us. This is our next box. It says, Renee, important papers. So we will see, I guess. We got some tablets in here, it looks like. Some DVDs. What kind of tablets are these? Polaroid and Amazon. It's been a long time since I found a working Amazon tablet. I find a lot of these, but not very many that work. Some shoes, Jessica Simpson. What do those have for prices on them? This is marked down to 25 bucks. A little Sperry Topsiders. No, what's some sort of watch here? Sure face. Doesn't mean anything to me. A little bow tie. Is it actually mints in there? Yep. Sometimes people hide stuff in weird ways. There's an iPhone. It's got to be what, a 6 Plus? Or 6S, whatever. Check that out. Man, looks like DVDs. A whole bunch of them. That's a pretty good box. Some value there. Got another box here marked Important Papers. Um, the last couple of boxes, though, that have been marked paperwork have actually had other stuff in them, so let's see about this one. Oh, goodness. It's taped securely. There we go. Does look like a lot of paperwork in here. What else? Just gonna pull all this paperwork out. Anything else in there? Candy, some pull-ups, some gloves, a PSP game, some books. A phone cover. A phone case. Business cards. Here's the iPhone box. Wow, it's a 256 gigabyte. Maybe that's for that iPhone that I found earlier. This is a speaker. And a pill bottle for veterinarian medicine. All right, well, I'll sort through these papers, make sure there's nothing else there, and we'll keep going. Got another big box here. It's got all kinds of different things marked on it. So we'll just open it up and see. Looks like all kinds of different stuff. Just a hodgepodge. It's kind of dirty. Let's see if there's anything that grabs my attention. I'm not seeing really a whole lot here. Alright, I will sort through that if I find anything super exciting. I will show it to you all. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next one. Here's a big purse to go through. Let's see what we got. It's full of stuff. It's kind of just the hodgepodge that we're finding in um, a lot of boxes in this locker. I mean, it's good stuff, like, there you go, bathtub paintbrush pens. And, looks like there's another pack in there that's been opened. Bizarre. What else we got here? Got a, a case for an iPhone. What's this? 
little toy. And over here, what do we got? Coconut milk body wash. It's empty. Doesn't look like anything else in here. I just priced some of the toys out of this locker. These are all toys that uh, were open or were not as valuable. There's about 50 bucks worth in that tote. And then here are a bunch of toys that I'm going to put on eBay or that someone's going to put on eBay. Um, quite valuable, actually, surprisingly valuable. I'd guess there's a couple hundred bucks worth of toys here. A lot of, uh, you know, kids show character toys. So we should do pretty well with that. Here's another box. Something to note about these boxes, it seems like they have been opened because we've got, I mean, here's, this one's got some tape on it, but it's not taped shut, and the writing on it is covered up, so I don't know if they've reused the boxes, they moved a couple of times, or what. This one says Renee's Books, let's see what we actually have in here. Hmm, got some chocolate. Got a belt. Pokemon Valentine's Day box. Some heat wraps. Some paperwork in here, looks like. Here is a. Um, well, there's some alcohol. This is a box for a pair of shoes that we found earlier. <laughs> the boss and the real boss. Here's an iPhone case. 64 gigabyte iPhone. It's just the box though. We found the iPhone. It's actually around here somewhere. Like some makeup in there. An empty box for a phone case. Oh, here's a remote for a TV. We have a TV somewhere around that came out of this locker, so that might go to that. Anything else? Some tissues, some more paperwork. Got one DVD here in there. It looks like that is all there is. Here's our next box. It says Nana box on this side. Renee's box. Body spray, body wash. So, what do we have? Bubbles. Here's some body spray. Big old cup. Mixed drinks. A lot of hair care stuff in here. Anything of note. Some makeup. Bath bomb. Here's some pepper spray. Looks like that's it. I'll sort through there anything that we can sell. I will pull out, and then we'll move on. Another box. It says T-A-N-K, I don't know. I don't know if it's somebody's name, they're trying to spell something. Let's see. 
Looks like we got clothing in here. Anything of note? It's an Xbox game. Xbox 360? Yeah, Battlefield 3. All scratched up. Uh, not very surprising considering. Alright, there is what looks like maybe a Nike box in there. A whole bunch of hangers. Look at this belt. That is a belt buckle. Alright, well, I'm gonna dig these hangers out. And then, uh, some of this other stuff. Let's see what's underneath it. Here's one of those, uh, Instex Mini 8 cameras. These things, I don't know if they still are popular, they were really popular for a while. Kind of cool, kind of like a old Polaroid camera. Just instant little picture that it puts out. They were pretty valuable for a while, I don't know if their value has held up though, I kind of doubt it has. This is an empty box. I'll hold on to them in case I find the Nike Flyknit Racers. Always more valuable if you have the box. Any shoe is. Another empty shoe box. I'll hold on to it. Let's see, anything else in here? Not seeing anything. Alright, well I will clean this out and move on. All right, we got a shopping bag from a clothing store, and inside we've got some shoe boxes. Let's see here. These have a price tag of 48 bucks on them. I kind of doubt we'll be able to get that. They're in there. I don't know. We'll definitely be able to sell them. I don't know how much we'll get for them, but there's one. Let's see. There's another one. These ones have a price tag of $45 on them. They're in there as well. Kind of dirty. Have to clean them up. What else? There is also a Walmart bag in here. Full of paperwork, it looks like. Alright, well, I'll sort through there and make sure there's nothing valuable. And then we'll keep going. Have this orange box hauler. No idea what that is. I'm gonna pop it open and see what's inside. It's pretty heavily taped up. Oh, come on. There it is. All right. Here's a makeup bag. Is there any makeup in there? Yeah. What do we got? Oops. membership card and some lip luminizer. Wow. All right. Got a remote control, some sort of little vehicle. Empty bag, some paperwork here. A lot of paperwork. What's in here? Makeup. Some used, maybe some new in there. Anything else? Nope. All right. Pretty large box here, marked uh, storage closet, question mark, miscellaneous shoes. So I guess probably shoes. Who knows? We're about to find out though. Soon we will know. Alright. It's like a bunch of bags and boxes in here. Oh goodness. This is a uh, internet modem and router and a Blu-ray player? Is that what that is? No, it's just it's just internet equipment. Sometimes that stuff can be pretty valuable though. Let's set that aside and check it out. Let's 
over here. Garbage bag on top. Inside, it looks like we have some cords, some fish food. Oh, hey, look at this. These are charging cords for batteries, like little ride-on cars, which we have a couple around. So I'll see if these go with those. That's great. It's a good find. I needed these. I was hoping to find them. We got some cookie cutters. Uh, some tools in there. All right, what else? Shoe box, Jessica Simpson, and big old platform shoes. Wow, look at those. Is there a price tag on here? Sale down to 40 bucks. Box is in terrible shape. Here is another internet equipment piece. This one does have AT&T on it, so it's probably not worth anything to us. Or at least not worth much. Here's another piece of equipment. And what's down here? Garbage. All right, well, I'll finish sorting through this stuff and then move on. I think this box says hammers. Maybe there's tools in here. About to find out. It's kind of heavy. I see a hammer. In a board game. Got a boggle here. Looks like it's complete. A lot of hammers. One, two, well, I thought there was another one in there, but there's not. Just two. Got some bulbs for flowers. Some other hand tools in here. Some flower seeds. Box just says Nini and Marcus. We will find out. That is a key for like a, some sort of lock, might be a gun lock. like paperwork in here. All right, pull that out. In this bag over here, we've got, looks like more paperwork. I don't see anything else in there. Oh, wait. A mobile hotspot, I think. More paperwork down in here. Yep. Nice compass. Look it up and see, it might be an eBay item. It's in here. Starfinder. Navigation. Nice. Oh, if you're worth some money, look that up. Guess and that goes with it. Here's the uh, case for that ruler thing, the parallel rulers. All right, anything else in here of note? license plate from Virginia. All right, looks like the rest of that is paperwork. I'll of course sort through there, make sure there's nothing valuable that I missed. 
pop this thing open and see what's actually packed in there. See a phone case, some papers, a very old french fry. That's how things go. That's an old, good night, that's an old otter box. I wonder what that was for. Got a pair of glasses that's broken. Got a battery pack for an Xbox controller. Xbox 360, Gears of War, it's in there. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of trash, a lot of paperwork. All right, pull some of this stuff out of here. Some change, a couple pennies. A lot of these boxes, you know, have these little plastic bags full of stuff in them. So it takes a while to go through. Let's see anything interesting in here? Here's a phone. More garbage. These little things, um, no matter what they are, USB adapters, we can sell these for 50 cents. That's what we sell them for out of our store. Jump rope here. Some more change. Let's just go through this and see. Anything else exciting in here? Paperwork down here at the bottom. Looks like that's all there is. Let's see, maybe there's something in here. Maybe a makeup bag. Could be jewelry, you never know. Yeah, there's some jewelry in there. Some more pennies. I'll pull that chain out. I don't think it's real gold, but you never know. Pull that chain out quickly here. Have a look. No, it's not. It's a costume. All right, so a handful of jewelry there. I'll have to sort through there and check that. Over on this side, well, Open it up and see. Dry erase marker. Odds and ends. Nothing really. All right. Well, I will go through that stuff carefully. Make sure that I didn't miss anything, and then we'll go on. This locker was a bit unusual because it didn't have hardly any furniture. The only big items in it was was this uh, whirlpool. This is the wash machine. And over here is the dryer, and they both work. We're just getting them cleaned up and we'll get them out for sale. Another thing that came out of this locker was a couple of ride-on cars, actually three of them. There's this one, this one, and this one. They all work, it's just a matter of getting them cleaned up, charged up, and out for sale. Here's an idea of just some of the stuff that we have put on eBay out of this locker, all those toys, um, several of these pairs of shoes that are over here came out of that locker. Some more toys here. Um, there's some more shoes down here. And then of course those little animals. And those little model animals. And those have a lot of watchers on them. So some good items. And here's a whole other tote of uh, stuff to go on eBay. A lot of shoes in there, some clothing, some more toys. So good stuff. Normally I put miscellaneous smalls, you know, knives, jewelry, cell phones, tablets, uh, stuff like that into uh, individual uh, little totes. You know, usually a tote about like that size, but there were so many in this locker that I was not able to do that, so I just threw everything into a big tote. Uh, I will not bore you with watching me sort through this, but I will show you the result at the end. Here are all the smalls laid out. We'll just start on this side and work our way over. We got a older film camera. I'll look that up, see if it has any value. Probably doesn't. Uh, a couple of knives here. A Gerber, Smith & Wesson, and then a, a Maxim steel that I'm not familiar with. We have the like a butt plate for a gun. I think that's what that is. Could be something else. That's what it looks like to me, though. I don't see a name on that. We got a Yankee candle. Got some... Batteries, always need more batteries for testing uh, stuff that we find. I got a whole bunch of watches over there, uh, no, nothing special, nothing expensive. Uh, costume jewelry across the top here, uh, more down here. Oh, I got a couple of nicer titanium and steel rings over there. 
It'll be pretty easy to sell. A whole bunch of uh, Chuck E. Cheese passes. I'm guessing somebody had like a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese and they bought like a package and they got a whole bunch of these pass cards. I don't know if there's anything on them, but I'll give them to uh, to my little brothers and they'll, <laughs> I guess, go and see if they can use those. Some more costume jewelry. That's the uh, change that we found in this locker. Uh, I guess maybe like four or five dollars there. That is, it's mostly pennies, not a whole lot of uh, silver coins in there, but you know, I mean, some quarters and dimes and stuff. One single dollar bill. We have this coin here, which I'm guessing is a um, like a reproduction of an old. I think it's supposed to be a, a Greek coin, maybe Roman. Uh, I'll look it up. I don't think it's anything. Uh, I don't think it's even real silver. We do have a penny here from England from 1913. Kind of interesting. We have. Uh, 7.9 euros, I don't know, 7 euros and 90 cents. Uh, some other, I don't know what these things are even for. A.O. Smith, don't know what that is. Uh, and then a handful of stamps, There's some value there in the stamps. Forever stamps, always nice to find those. Uh, down here is the silver that we found. No gold in this locker. Kind of surprised. It looked like a locker that you might find, you know, a gold ring or gold earrings in. Uh, but no gold. There was uh, two pair there of uh, sterling silver earrings. And then these two rings. So, not a lot of silver, but not bad. Total value here, I'd guess probably around 100 bucks. Uh, there's nothing really fabulous in this stuff. Uh, of course this does not show the electronics that were in the smalls. I did not have space on my little table here. So I'm going to uh, move this stuff and go get the electronics and check those out and then I will show those to you. And just a quick look at electronics. Uh, we got a Wii, got a DS, a handful of phones, some controllers and stuff, a wireless speaker, got a video camera over there. Over here we have some tablets and then here are the two probably best finds um, as far as electronics go. A couple of iPhone 6 Plus uh, with the box, which you hardly ever find these things uh, with their boxes. But we did on this locker. I uh, found two of them. And so uh, a lot of this stuff will end up going on eBay. And there's probably, uh, with the iPhones, a couple hundred bucks worth of value here for us. So that's pretty good. That's going to do it for this locker. It was a pretty good locker for us. Uh, the washer and dryer is probably worth about $500. Uh, there was a lot of eBay items in this locker, um, probably about $1,000, especially with all those toys. And then there was some clothing that will go on eBay, lots of shoes, stuff like that. So probably about $1,000 worth of eBay. And then probably another uh, $1,000 or $2,000 worth of stuff to sell out of our store. So a good locker for us. It's always nice when you get uh, one that's like this and there's a lot of value in it. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this.